Good morning YouTube. This is the final part of my solar power system overview. In this segment I'll discuss my backup DC power supply and future plans for the system. As mentioned in the previous video, my inverter has a built-in battery charger adjustable from 4 to 40 amps. I'll have that set to supply just a bit more current than my DC loads require, so that can keep my battery bank topped off if there is extended cloudy weather. For a second level of backup power, I have this 25 amp switching power supply. And that feeds my DC loads. And I have a, a disconnect switch here, transfer switch and disconnect switch for the DC loads. While a main goal of the solar system was as backup if the grid went down, I also use the grid as backup if the solar system is down. This saves me from having to have an enormous battery bank. One of my original ideas years ago was to use this single large DC power supply to run many 12 volt loads like LED lights. Using a single large efficient power supply would be better than running many small inefficient power supplies. This current setup is temporary as I figure out all the components I need and how to connect them up. Future plans are to relocate the solar power system into this small garden tool shed. I'll have a shelf or two on the bottom for batteries, leaving room for some larger batteries on the very bottom. Then I'll have the electronics on the top half in the back and in front will be a swing out panel with all the various displays, switches and plugs. I'll add in a couple of 12 volt fans for cooling and run two conduits out, one with DC and one with AC power. This will clean up my patio area and get all the wiring and clutter behind closed doors.